this K40 laser cutter, we still have the original lens on it. It's starting to deteriorate the coating on the outside a little bit. We've probably had it on here for maybe three years. It's not been under constant use, mainly just for hobby stuff every once in a while, but we do have a new lens that we're gonna install. You can get different focal length lenses, so whatever you're doing the most, you want to get that focal length because this table doesn't move up and down. It's a stationary table, so you can't really focus it very well. So we have this focused to about quarter inch material, which is typically what we're doing, like cardboard, 3 16 wood. So that's about in its focus range that we got this for. So think about what you're cutting and then get a lens around that same focal length. Whenever you take out your old lens, it's important to notice the orientation. The curve is facing up, that's on the top side, so we're gonna put it in that way. And you wanna try not to touch the lens, and this one is so much cleaner, the new one. We take this out, not every time we use the cutter, but once you've been doing a few jobs on here, it's always a good idea to take it out, clean it. If this gets dirty, it can crack the lens, and then you won't be able to use you it. You can see how that finish is deteriorating on this one or this one is in very good condition. So whenever I dump this out, now that curved side, the convex side is facing up. So whenever I put this one in, the convex side is on the bottom. Oops. So that's in the same orientation. Now we'll screw this back in place, just like we're cleaning it. We're gonna put this one back in the case. It's still a good lens. It's not cracked, it would still work. So we don't wanna throw it away yet, just in case we ever need to use it but this one is still better. And always clean your mirrors like with a glasses cloth, something soft like that that won't scratch them. We'll clean the mirror on top, which is just held on by a clamp. Well, this mirror isn't perfect, but it's definitely gonna work fine. These mirrors are Available really pretty easily. You just need to measure the size of your mirror so it's not specific to the laser cutter. You can get different finishes, like there's different materials that can be plated on here so it will last longer. It's not just a piece of metal that's been polished. So we're gonna put this piece back in and then clean all the other mirrors. I find it easier to clean the mirror just by reaching through the sight hole here. You can just open up the back hatch, but you have to remove the exhaust fan to do that. And we'll reinstall the air assist, which is very important. And everything's working real nice. The cut's looking great, and I'm gonna go ahead and engrave it. And let's take a look at what the finished product is. Everything just falls apart, that's a great sign. And actually changing that lens out made a huge difference. Before I was cutting out some thin, some thin cardboard and I was struggling a bit, especially on the lower row here. So getting this new lens installed helped out a lot and everything fits real nice. 